by stopping the asteroid and capturing Limburg. The mice used my mentor's transport chamber to take Limburg back to Mars for trial. But what they don't know is that Limburg's interestingly twisted Plutarchian rival has been planning for just this moment while the biker mice and Limburg get a warm welcome from old enemies on Mars. Yeah, do you think they'll be tortured? Uh, maybe even executed? <laughs> oh, heroes get all the luck, don't they? As your ever-benevolent employer, I ever so deeply regret bringing you into this unpleasant situation. <laughs> oh, shut your stinking yap, you Plutarchian scum. We never work for you. Oh, you're much too modest, my dear boy. Your assistance in the devastation of Chicago was as invaluable as it was here on Mars. You lying skunkfish. You set us up. Don't be absurd, my good mouse. Why should I bother? Well, somebody did. And it smells like a Plutarchian stunt to me. Ah, but who besides myself would... Mm. What are you plotting now, you fat slime ball? <sighs> Is this any way to speak to your most altruistic employer? Why, if this keeps up, I may have to have you fired. Fired? Listen, pal, if I could unchain my gun, I'd show you what fired means. Rose, pros, come on, calm down. This bloated bag of Tanya Trout is just trying to get you go. <laughs> we got nothing to worry about. Of course not, my estimable employee. I'm sure your inconsistent associate, that human female, is being well treated by my other operatives. <laughs> Oh, settle in, settle in, Vincent, settle If your oil slick gooner, that deranged doc, even so much as touches Charlie! Oh, don't worry, dear boy, don't worry. I'm sure they're being perfect gentlemen. <laughs> Can I offer you a seat, miss? Uh. You're going on a one-way trip to Mars as an even swap for our rich Mr. Limburg. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy night. <laughs> you greasy galoot. Come closer and I'll give you a real belt right in the mouth. Ooh, the little lady is really scaring me. <laughs> Let's see you try it, Twitch. <laughs> You schmaltzoozing oaf! How do you expect me to get this transporter repaired if you keep smashing into it? Yeah, uh, hey, I'm the one that has to do all the hard work around here. Nonsense! Now, just shut up and load that heavy equipment. There's no telling what we'll need when we get there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boy, I told him off. Then to lift this, <sighs> carry that, and never get paid. Where's the henchman's union when you need them? Huh? Oh boy, must be a road rally. <laughs> there it is, Pages. Wimburger Tower. Ours to wane and wavage. Advance and destroy all resistance. <laughs> Don't waste your time, Grunge Skin. Your boss is probably halfway up a galactic river by now. Uh, I don't think so. The boss has these subtle ways of influencing people. My good God. Think of it. Food, television, an exercise wheel. Everything your little mousy heart could want. Just to open a simple little cell door. Dear me, lad, I'm a powerful personage. Certainly you haven't forgotten how I once bought this whole planet. Ah, yeah! You've been remembered all right, cheese face. Now, there's only one mouse I know with such a delicate negotiation strategy. Carbine. Time to talk, Throttle. You and me. Now! Something tells me this ain't the happiest of reunions. Huh. You got that right. That way. Oh, come on. You can put that stupid thing away. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> yeah. You've said that before. Now move. You got a good memory. Yeah, I do. And some memories are better than others. Carbine, this is crazy. You must know we'd never work for Limburger. Wait, you think I'm a fool? I know what you've been doing. Take a look at this. This was being from Earth just before you got here. Must have been a warning that you were coming. You and your friends appear to be helping Lindberger ravage the Earth, as he did Mars. Wrong, Carbine. It's garbage. We were fighting Cheeseface in those shots, not helping him. Somebody's been messing with the film to make us look bad. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that? Well, it's the truth. We brought Lindberger back here for trial. <sighs> I don't know who to trust anymore. Especially now, when there's so much at risk. Look. Look. Green. It's... it's green, just like Mars used to be, before the Plutarchians. We call it the Garden of Hope. It's all that's left of what Mars once was. We've been trying to preserve it, but since Plutarch stole the planet's water, it's... it's been hard. We could have used your help, but you abandoned us. Oh, we didn't abandon you! We were prisoners of the Plutarchians! Come on, Vinny's mask, Moto's arm? <laughs> that ain't cosmetic surgery, babe. That was Carbuncle's dirty work. So where's that creature now, babe? I don't know, probably up to no good. <laughs> I think I'll stick to motorcycles. Silence, you irritating insect! Oh. Ah, according to my scanners, his chunky cheesiness should be somewhere nearby. Uh, look! Oh, it's about time, you belated, bumbly buffoons. What did you do? Walk here? <laughs> uh, don't worry, boss. Uh, I'll have you out of here in a jiffy. <laughs> no! Believe me, Carbine. Me and my bros, we hate Plutarchians. Always have. I wish I could believe, but I've already taken too many chances. No, wait, listen. I I'll tell you everything. Blast! 40 million miles from a change of wardrobe, and look at this suit. Oh, well, kindly if I can escape you over enthusiastic oaths. Later, it's tail whipping time. What? So this was the plan, huh? Play on our past, keep me distracted while your Plutarchian boss escapes? And just when I was almost starting to believe you. Well, never again. Freedom fighters, roll out! I want those prisoners nailed! And hard! Which-based flounders got Charlie? We gotta go after him.
sorry, soldiers, but this is an emergency. Sorry, we had to get a little rough. Uncle Moto? Who? Rimfire? Well, look at you, boy. You're all grown up. Uncle Moto, I knew you'd come back. Hey! hey! Afraid you gotta leave the family ties hanging, Moto. Yeah, we gotta land us a fish. Ride free, nephew. Yeah. Good speed, Uncle Moto. Let's rock and ride! Quickly, quickly, head for the hills. I must concoct a suit of inventions upon all those wretched rodents. You've already strip-mined their planet, you slime. Isn't that enough? No. <sighs> Ask a stupid question. Well, bros, we're on our own again. The whole planet after us. And Limburger up to dirty deep. It's good to be home. Good as ever, but that won't help you now. Your orders? Track them down, capture them, and show them no mercy. <gasps> Kokino Canyon, where the Plutarchian destruction of Mars first began in earnest. <gasps> I was but a hatchling then, just starting out in the business, and this was a rich and verdant paradise. Ah, oh, I did so beautiful work back then. So how come yours is always messing up now? Don't! Because now, I'm invariably inconvenienced by those blasted biker mice. And if I know them, their tails are on your tail right now. Hmm, of course you're right, my dear doomed damsel in distress. However, a true businessman knows how to deal with every contingency. <laughs> Man, this trail shows up like a grease spot on a new shirt. Well dumb Limburger ain't. He's got to be doing this on purpose. Yeah, you got that right. Keep your eyes peeled, bros. I got a feeling there's a bad moon rising. <gasps> Carbuncle, my dear doctor. These good sand raiders have agreed to accept the human female as partial payment for dealing with these wretched rodents. But they want another slave as well. So I've secretly agreed to give them grease pit. Would you kindly accompany him to prevent his realizing this sad but unavoidable fact? <laughs> but of course, your spherical supremacy. And may I compliment you on your wisdom in getting rid of that oil-slicked idiot? <laughs> My dear Griesbert, circumstances have forced me to secretly sell Carbuncle to the Sand Raiders. Would you kindly escort him to prevent his escape? I'm glad to oblige, Mr. Limboy. <laughs> Would you come this way, Doc? Oh, why, you certainly, Grace Pitt. After you. Uh, da, da, you oh, no, first. No, no, you first, my dear. Da, da, I, oh, I wouldn't think of it. Three slaves, my good sir, as we agreed. Now, kindly dispose of those mice. Or it will be a pleasure. <laughs> Once those prehensile-tailed pests are disposed of, I can proceed with my pulverization of the entire mouse population of Mars. Oh, it's such a pleasure to work with professionals once more. Uh, uh, uh. What do you want, you drooling dog face? No way. No way! Whoa. This place brings back memories. Seems like only yesterday we were fighting and blasting through here. I can still hear the explosions. Yeah, oh, so can I! Look, ah! those sand rings back for a second help. Oh, these guys are real gluttons for punishment, ain't they? Speaking of gluttons, 10 to 1 says they're on Limburger's payroll. Let's ride! Ah! Ah! Let's put those owls back in the kill. <laughs> Dukes, destruction, and no innocent bystanders to get in the way. I love it!
Slick work, bros. Just the usual greatness. Yeah. Oh, it's just too bad Charlie ain't here to appreciate just how cool we are. Don, this filmy finery, me pretty. Don, this, you overgrown drool factory. an appropriate place for you and your trashy outfit. Hey, boss! That fuzz-loving female is getting a ways! Mm. No concern of mine, dear boy. The deal to demolish the biker mice has already been struck. Oh. Hey, boss, how comes we both wearing chains? Uh, yes. I, too, was curious about that, your slippery uh, smoothness. Oh, dear. Perhaps I fail to elucidate you on a teensy clause in the contract. Hop to it, bros! No way those things are gonna get the jump on us! Hey, look! Charlie Girl's out on the rebound! Oh, you know, she looks good in chains. Guys! Guys! when this happens. Man, don't you just love it how the ladies fall for me? I don't know. She looks like she's hung up on something else. Ugh! Will you fur brains get your tails in gear and rescue me? Uh, uno momento, sweetheart. There's some rivals here for my attention. Better give these guys the brush off. Big time. Salvo 7, bros. All or nothing. It's so hard to find good help these days, even on other planets. <sighs> you know the biker mice code, guys. Never let a lady down. Flying Melendez 3, bros. Hit it! Ow, 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 ow. Great Krypton! And all of that. <laughs> Taking our relationship to new heights. Hey, babe. <laughs> sure. But do we have a future together? Like landing? Oh, oh sweat, sweetheart. Oh. Something always comes along. You know, I'm starting to sort of envy the girls who say their guys never take them anywhere. There you go, babe. Free at last. Or maybe not. What are these things? Martian Tangle Springs. And that can only mean... You're under arrest. Again. And this time, we're going to make it permanent. You Plutarchian bootlickers. What are you talking about? We were just fighting Limburger. <sighs> you were fighting Sand Raiders. Probably to let your boss escape. Take them to the garden and cast them into the pit. How convenient. All those infernal mice will soon be in one place at one time. Oh, what are you intending to use us for now, your double gloucester crossness? Mm, oh, thank you, boss. Thanks for saving us from the evil slavers that you sold us to. Oh, cease this grateful groveling. We must make haste to a high point with the asteroid attractor. I've got a simply smashing surprise for them. And thus? For your crimes of aiding and abetting the Plutarchian invaders, you are hereby sentenced to be cast into the pit of everlasting doom. Oh, man, I'm not dressed for everlasting doom. Yeah, this is a pit. <laughs> Tough room, bros. I don't think the humor's gonna play. And while we're getting in deep... You can bet Limburg is getting up to something rotten. Ha! It's working. It's working. When that giant ice asteroid hits the garden, it will destroy those mice. Won't it squash ice too? Your point is well taken. Carbunco, activate the transport remote. At once, your rounded richness. It's been surreal. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We can still try and blast our way out of here. No, no good, Moto. Remember, they're only keeping Charlie safe as long as we behave. We don't want to drag her down with us. <laughs> Listen! You're making a terrible mistake. The biker mice were never traitors. They were prisoners in Carbuncle's lab. When they escaped, they were shut down on Earth. 
They've been battling Limburger ever since. Then why were they helping Limburger escape? They weren't. They were trying to catch him. And they would have too if you hadn't shown up. Why should I trust you? You could be working for Limburger. Oh, right. Why would I want to help a Plutarchian destroy my own planet? You've got to believe me. Limburger's still out there somewhere, and he wants revenge. The biker mice are the only ones who can stop him from... Look! I turned it off, but that big snowball's still coming. Oh, the reverse switch, you bracing aloof! That you say so is... Now, is that grown far enough? Man, this just ain't our lucky day. Just hope it ain't our last.